supposedly this house is equal to the Sally house. Hopefully it's not, because if it is, we're probably in some trouble. This is no ordinary home. It's referred to as the demon house. This family has shared their story on a number of TV shows, and they say it took years of visits from paranormal investigators and even priests to calm those evil spirits inside the home. The people that do live here, they won't go in it. They leave it untouched. <laughs> the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. They say demons were taking over. Where one priest says the evil spirits came from. Whoa. Whoa. Dude! What? Did it just close? That just on? closed! Tonight, we are headed to a place known famously by the locals as the Demon House. White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high. Blue eyes, fake cry, beware of the fox tonight. 911, what is your emergency? Three. Two people. Three people. Ma'am, what's the problem? Are you injured? Three people. Three people are dead. It all started years ago when reports were saying that there was something very evil wandering around inside this house. Something that is known to crawl all over the walls, and during the day, it hides away. People have heard what sounds like a little boy laughing, and have said that they've even seen him with their own eyes. Others say that this very evil demonic entity is not a boy at all, but it will take the form of a child just to gain their trust. There's also rumors of how this demon even got into this house in the first place. Over the years, it's been said that there's a portal somewhere inside the house and oddly enough there's a door that the owners keep locked at all times and will not go into nor will they explain why they do that most of the time they don't even like to stay inside the house but on the off chance that they do have to while they're in there the energy is so uncomfortable that even their dog will sit directly in front of that door and bark for hours <laughs> This is no ordinary home. It's referred to as the Demon House. This family has shared their story on a number of TV shows, and they say it took years of visits from paranormal investigators and even priests to calm those evil spirits inside the home. One of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. They say demons were taking over. There's so much mystery behind this house, and we've heard so many stories, but no one has ever been able to figure out exactly what's going on inside. Yet the hauntings here have been ramping up very dramatically over the past year. Nowadays, as soon as you do walk into the home, it will feel like there's somebody constantly behind you. One of the recent reports involved somebody getting scratched in the middle of their sleep, forcing them to have to leave. Other reports are saying that after spending hours in the home, they are feeling faint, fatigued, and not feeling like themselves at all. Therefore, an attempted possession. It's important to realize that an exorcism is not magic. We don't do magic. It's a prayer, essentially. It's the church's prayer to God in Jesus to cast out the demons. A couple teams in the country have had people levitate, so there, things do happen like that. They have witnessed during a possession a levitation, and they say, well, okay, you believe in levitation, which is against the laws of science. Of course it's against the laws of normal science. I understand that, you know, I'm not saying I don't believe in gravity. What I'm saying is there are spiritual forces, including dark forces, that can violate the, the normal laws of nature. Our goal here tonight is to find out if any of these stories are true, if there really is something demonic that still lives inside that house, or if it's just an angry spirit that doesn't want people around. But before we do start this investigation, we have a couple of things we'd like to lay down for you guys. There's been a channel acting like us in our comment section telling you guys to text them on Telegram. Let us tell you that it has nothing to do with us and they are trying to scam you. Never reply them and tell them to 
off. Also, we will not be disclosing this location due to the owners wanting to keep their privacy and it being under our private investigation. One more thing, thank you for 400,000 subscribers because wow, did we really just gain 200,000 in one year? Is it really that much? Yeah. Oh my God. You guys are insane and thank you so much. If you are new to this channel, please consider in hitting that subscribe button. Join the ghost gang because we are coming in with heat. <laughs> no, we all just want to say thank you so much. We love you. Now let's jump into this episode. Okay guys, we are here. Supposedly, this house is, I guess, equal to the Sally house. Now boys, what do you guys think about this particular haunted house? Eli. What's up guys? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, as soon as I walked in there, dude, there's like some really eerie, kind of just like emptiness, kind of like weird feeling going on in there. Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, this place is definitely weird because not a lot is said about it. Dude, as soon as you go in, I don't know, the vibe. But what has happened before, with the weird evil child that people have heard and seen, the supposed portal like to another world that's here, mm -hmm. and that room that's always locked for some reason. The people that do live here, they won't go in it. They leave it untouched. Some of the experiences that people they've brought in have had here are just odd. So hopefully it's not as bad as the Sally house, because if it is, we're probably in some trouble. Dude, we're <laughs> uh, dude. We're back room, all I gotta say is that back room is weird. Something going on there for sure. The stories are saying that it's just as haunted as the Sally house because Sally is a little child oh, demon, dude. Yep. but yep. here it's not a little girl, it's a little boy dude. who has been known to run around the house, also known to watch you sleep, can physically harm you. Dude, I don't want to sleep here. <laughs> and I don't want to be touched. Bro. Not only that, they hear a little boy laughing. Dude, okay, listen, <laughs> oh, if, man. if we hear him laugh at all, I back the car in and I'm ready to just get the hell out of here, bro. I'm out of here, bro. Like, that's the last thing I want to hear is a little boy going like, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> With that being said, Eli, thank you for joining us. If you guys don't know who Eli is, his channel will be down in the description. He does amazing videos. He's starting to do paranormal stuff. Yes, sir. He's been on YouTube for a long time. Yeah, yeah. been around the block a few times, boys. He's literally so. grandpa compared to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is dope. I actually am very grateful you guys brought me along with you to uh, film this experience, and uh, let's see what happens, boys. Yeah. Hands in together, boys. You know how we do it. Josh, Josh, Josh. <laughs> sha, sha, sha. <laughs> On the count of three, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna say, Sha. <laughs> One, two, three, Sha. Billy Eilish. <laughs> Billy Eilish. Let's we catch a demon, now? boys. If there is really a spirit here in this house, something evil, we've heard multiple stories saying that there is a child here, a little boy. But they're not just saying that it's an innocent child. People are saying that whatever you are, whoever you are, you just mean harm. What the f Whoa. None of you guys moved at no. all. Uh -uh. Nope. Yeah, but it's on camera. We came to this house to try and find out why you're here, what your problem is, and how you got here. So tonight we're going to be asking all kinds of questions. We have a bunch of devices all around the house. If you see something that doesn't look normal in this house and you see something glowing, there's devices that we set down. And if you'd like to show yourself and make yourself known, pass by one of the devices, whatever you can do to let us know that you understand what we're saying. Before we do start asking questions, we'd like to introduce the four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Eli. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Now we're gonna be here for a couple of hours. Like I said, we are here only for one reason, and that is to have a conversation with you and find out what you are. Find out if those stories that people have been telling are true. If you hear me, there's a device that's over there in the doorway. Whoa. What was that, dude? That was on the side of the house where they said they heard him from. No, 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 no. Oh, no. The locked door. Yeah. So there's one of the stories. A family was here. Their dog was here as well and just kept barking at the door with the lock on it. No, did, what, the what is that? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
There's a glowing blue device that's in the hallway right there. And there's a red device on that shelf. One of those two, can you please touch one of them? If you understand what we're saying. Dude, there's something walking okay. around. Yeah, somewhere. there's something. I keep hearing like a... That was weird, man. It was like someone was like getting off of the bed or something. Like it's really light footsteps. Yeah. Mind you, this it's a one story. There's no downstairs and there's no upstairs. So whatever we're hearing, it's not a huge house. Can you please make one of these devices go off? We just want to know if you're able to produce that kind of energy to make the device buzz. All it does is light up and it makes a ringing noise. It's not going to harm you in any way. Did anybody just hear that? You heard like a little like ticking from over here. Yeah. yeah. Yo. Dude, there's what a the f thud coming from over here, dude. My arms, bro. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> my arms are chilling up so bad. Thank you. Okay. Before anything, I want. Why can you show, I want to show this. There's been someone who's been saying that my watch can do this airplane mode. It's not going to make anything go off. Also, let's go ahead and do the EMF meter test because that was also another thing. So it's not doing it with his, it's on. Sorry guys, those of you who keep trying to say some stupid stuff about us. Unfortunately, you're not winning. Back to it. If the little boy is here with us, can you make that knocking sound that you've been making in the room over here? We keep hearing it. Where the f was that? Dude, it sounds like it's like in the walls or something. Yeah. That doesn't sound terrifying at all. <laughs> nope. It's in the walls. <laughs> Like those walls? Oh are sh Those walls are thick. So I think the only like example that sounds just like it, if you like, that's what it sounds like. If you understand what we're saying, we're just gonna be asking a lot of questions because we can't physically see you unless, if you're able to produce enough energy to manifest yourself and show us what you look like. There it is. Exactly. <laughs> The same thing? Do we want to check this room? I can't tell if it's coming from the ceiling or if it's coming from the walls. Now if you are interested in using your words, we have a device that gives you the ability to use either just one word or you can say a whole sentence. Now if you continue to show us that you're here and make yourself known, then that'll let us know that you are interested in having a conversation with us. Who knows, maybe people are wrong about you. But the stories that we've heard, people are scared of you. And we want to know why. That's in there. Sounds different now. It does. I can't tell if it's coming from here or it's like somewhere. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's like somewhere in this like area over here. I keep hearing it. Oh, that EMF on the table Dude. just went. There's an EMF meter over there, or that one? That one. Wait a second. Nobody's near that. There's no way it'll go off. Nobody's near it. Are you in that room with the two beds? Oh, I just peeked. Yeah. That just went off behind you. The room pod? It did, yeah. Like a one tiny tap. Literally. That's what that did too. I wonder if the kid's not powerful enough. That's what I'm starting to think. Maybe he's not strong enough to like trigger these devices. If you do need any energy, all the cameras, these devices that we're holding in our hands right here, you can use them. Use them for your energy. I have a question. If this isn't the little boy that we're calling out to and it's something else, something stronger than what we think it is, can you activate some of these devices by going close to them maybe? There's a device in the hallway here, and there's one over here. No way. Yeah, what did I say? Can you get closer to that? That device that's glowing? Oh! No! Whoa, no yo, way! That's horrible, bro. 
I told you, I told you, something stronger than oh, the boy is in here! Oh. Whoa, no way, bro. That was awesome. Dude, whatever is here is not that little boy. I'm telling you right now, dude. Well, see, that's the thing. It's like some entities will try and make themselves look like they're something they're not. They'll try to have people believe in something yeah. to where they can get close to somebody to gain some trust, yet it's... You know, they'll that's what they like, want. That's what they want to feed off of. Yeah, they'll act like they're a little kid, so they seem all innocent. You lower your guard, and then it turns out to be something way darker than what I'm sorry, is. guys. We watched Insidious last night, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, little kid, demon, weird thing. Like, what about that door with the lock on it? There's a story that a family was staying here. Yeah, that was in that. There's a thug again. Room. And they brought their dog. And the thing with animals is they're able to see you. Not like how we could see you. For some reason, this dog kept barking at that locked door. Do you have something to do with that? Dude, I keep hearing a thud. Yeah. I've got a device right here that you can use your words. If you make that red light go off again, if you make a buzz, then I'll bring it out so that you can use your words if you're interested. Do you want to do that? Is that what you're looking for? Make yourself known, please. No Yeah, way. dude, that is so intelligent. Can you get closer to that? Gonna have to give us a little bit more than that. Very good. That is so insane. Wow. As promised. That is not sweet. I'm going to set this device right here. We want you to use your words and explain what you are, who you are, how you got here. Maybe give us your name. What do people call you? Use your energy. Manifest whatever you'd like to say, please. To our knowledge, we believe that it's been quite a while since you've been able to use your words and talk. So tonight we're giving you that ability. Yeah, what was that? Seems like to me it needs a little bit of encouragement because it's a little shy. Maybe because no one's actually been here before to try to communicate with it. I think people have been here to communicate, but I don't know. Obvious. Oh, yeah, dude. It is so, so obvious that it's shy. It's okay. You can come out and communicate with us. We just we just want to have a conversation. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Can you maybe give us a direction that you'd like us to go to be closer to you? Is there more than one entity here that's trying to communicate? It's so weird. It's like they're observing, mm -hmm. yeah. just watching. Or is it just a little boy that's here? Don't be afraid to tell us who you are. My body's around here. Whoa! Whoa, dude! Wow, why would it say that? Dude, the responses at the same time, bro. Why do you make yourself look like a child? Like a little boy? Is there a graveyard around here? I don't no, know. I don't know. If your body's around here, what happened to you? So this is the street, and the street's been around since like forever. It could have been like an area for a graveyard a long time ago until everyone started to move around here, you know? Or even some more like on the darker side of something like- Somebody, oh, somebody buried protect. something around here. Protect. Protect. What are you trying to protect? Is there something behind that locked door that you're trying to protect? Oh, dude. There's something behind that door, maybe. Where does that door go? I wonder if there's two entities here. Is that a yes? I don't know. Or someone's standing right there. Who are you? Do you know about that little boy? Or are you the little boy? Or is there a little boy at all? That sounded like a full footstep. Whoa, that, dude, there's like, like heel to toe. Yeah, that was like Oh my god, dude, I hate to say this, 
That was like someone on all of Oh, just oh. Fucking... dude. No, no. Oh, a man. Man. Oh it's a man. My God. Okay. That's going off. So not a little boy. If you are something much darker than what we think the little boy is, can you make those devices go off as best as you can to confirm that? You also said, who are you protecting? Yeah. And it said, man. Attractive. Eli. No. Oh, bro. Attractive man? Nah, they're talking about you boys. Oh. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> they literally want you to go in the bedroom right now. What are the odds that that says those two words consecutively like that? Um, what attractive man are you trying to contact or speaking about? It says Eli. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I would f bro. That'd be cool if it said my name. Hi. Whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> if you were talking about one of us, you heard our names. At any point, if you can answer that, if you're talking about us at all, please say one of our names. Why are people saying that there is an evil entity here? Yo, I wonder if that's why the people like don't live here full time. Makes you wonder. Why else wouldn't they though? Try to just rent it out so they don't have to deal with it as much. Yeah. We fine. need power. We need no. power. Dude, that we, is insane. We. That we means there is more than one, one entity did here. Did I not just get done saying if you don't have power, use the devices in our hands? And you were saying before that that maybe, maybe they, they don't, don't have the energy. Yes. They said obvious. That's insane. These are some pretty intelligent responses. If you are looking for energy, once again, all these cameras that you see, these devices, you can use your energy and drain those if you'd like. That should give you more power. Is there something evil here? Can you please tell us? Dude, this is weird. I keep hearing those sounds as if they're coming from like, I, th I keep thinking they're from over here, but then like, it sounds like it's coming from the ceiling. Oh, like something, you f dude. Dude, I'm just, that's where my mind goes because like, I'm literally hearing it from up there. Well, River also did say one of the sounds sounded like somebody was on like their hands and knees crawling. Right. You think somebody's just gonna be crawling on the ground? No. Yeah. Please leave here. No! No! No way, dude! <laughs> Whoa, we're here to be respectful. We just want to know who's here. Who keeps scaring everyone away? That's all we want. Just a few questions and we'll leave. Why does it come up behind you every time it's standing? See, they're because you literally, literally turn your back, probably. Turn your back to it, yeah. You know, didn't they mention shy? So whenever you turn your back to that? I've got these devices here I'm gonna set around the table. If you slightly tap one of them, it'll light up, just like this. Maybe also at some point, you can show us that you're over here at the table. We're trying to find out where would be a good spot to talk to you, to have a conversation, to gain that information that we're looking for. Take your time. We're here, we're trying to just get the truth. If there is somebody who is evil here that you're trying to warn us about, and maybe that's why you want us to leave, because as of right now, all of the stories point in that direction. Did that go off twice? That almost did not shut up. If you know what kind of entity is in this house, the one who seems maybe like they're not trying to cause any harm towards us or towards anybody, if you know what they are, can you please let us know what they are? Let us know what we need to worry about. Who's behind that door? More important, is there a key for us to get in? Now you're thinking. Most important, is there a key for just River to go in? Even more and more important, is there a key for Eli to go in? Is there the key of Eli in this house? I will open that door and go in there by myself if that's what you want. Who's behind that door, please? Why are people scared of that? Why was there a dog barking on the other side of that door for hours? What else would cause the dog to bark on the other side? Typically, it's like something that could put the owners in danger. Can you make that door go off? Can you knock on it? 
There's five of us. Whoa! Five, five of, of us. us. We're four, and there's one here. That's what I was thinking. The four of us plus it. Whoa. Okay, dude. question. Is there five spirits in this house? Or are you talking about the four of us and you? Dude. I, whoa. Dude. That was definitely different. That sounded like someone ran was through the hallway. Dude, yeah. That was clear. That's insane. That legit reminded me of a scary movie. It's getting more energy for sure. Can somebody go and touch one of those devices on that table, please? We're just trying to find out if you're here, if you understand us. So far, the things that you're saying, thank you, we appreciate it. We're not here to harm anybody. We're not here to upset you in any way. We just have devices. They're right behind you, buddy. Passage. Passage! Whoa. The door! The door! No, no way, yeah. dude. We said, what is on the other side of that door? Passage. A portal? Yeah. Talking about a portal, aren't they? That would make sense if a dog was barking at that. Can you oh make that God, go dude. off again if that's what you're talking about? Is there a portal on the other side of that door? And I knew, for whatever reason, I had a weird feeling. If I walk over here and have my back towards this and this, something would happen. I don't know why. Oh, dude! dude. <laughs> No, I didn't. What? That's not what they meant. He asked to touch that again if, if there's a portal in there, if that's what they were trying to say. What's so in what's, there? What is there then? So, what about a portal? Then what's, passage. what are they, they talking passage. about? Maybe we just misinterpreted what they- Oh! No! They no. Wait, that you, ball! You just caught he, that. You just caught that. Home! The device just said home. Okay. I mean- Hold on, did you just catch that? I think so. Walk by again, just like he did before. Just, Walk know. exactly like you did. So that literally went off right behind you, and then as soon as you're walking back, yeah. like someone's right behind you, yeah. it goes off. Dude, I got goosebumps. Like, I feel something's like... Around you? Like, right here. Who are we speaking to? Or what are we speaking to? We just want to be proper. People hear my voice. That's true! That's, That's a part of the story! That is part of the story. That's a part of a bunch of the stories. What people hear is, is a child, a boy. Did you just yeah. hear that? Yeah. Holy someone just stood right there, like clear as day. Did you hear the footsteps in the creeks? The, the whole creek like this. And then like yeah. creaking, but this is not creaky right here. Also, I do like the fact that Eli pulled the chair to the table bumped the table, and the sensitive device, the balls, did not go off at all. So that also like gives us that kind of idea that it wasn't a slight tap, nor it wasn't you stepping- Yo, Oh, that wasn't me! That wasn't me, bro. That's insane. I haven't moved this entire time. Something's right on me. If that's you, hit the device behind him. The one that you've been making go off. There was a, like a white mist that came up in front of your face. Oh! No way. <laughs> what? Why are you here? Why are, Why you, are here? you here? Dude, we never have gotten this. No. Seriously? Yes, never. we've never gotten this stuff. Never. Is this somebody else? This is nuts. Okay, maybe there are five spirits here. There might be. Because the way they're acting, the way they're triggering these in different ways. Yeah. Is, is kind of like concerning. And now somebody all of a sudden is like, why are you here? Unless if this is one spirit and they still don't understand why we're here, you know? We're here to talk with you, whether there's only one or a bunch of you guys in here. We're trying to prove that you're real. We're trying to get you to show us some things, if you can. And we're trying to tell your story for you. By the way, those footsteps have remained a constant during this entire video. Yeah. Literally so far, huh? Yeah. 1920s. What do you mean by 1920s? Is there a reason why you just said that? Don't be afraid of us. That's Whoa. closer. That's a full grab, isn't it? it when so. it's red like that? Yes. That was weird. What? Nah, dude, like, you know how you go up in an airplane and your ears pop? Yeah. My left ear just popped. What? 
like something just went through me or something. I've never felt that before. Do you like our friend Eli? That was really weird. If you do, pull his chair right into that kitchen. <laughs> Hit that device in front of him if you are interested in Eli. The one that you've been setting off. Dude, I'm hearing walking. Yeah. I can't tell where it's coming from. I can't either. What if it's the ceiling? It's like, it sounds like something, but I just can't. Like, it's not from over there. It's like, it keeps changing. Where are you in this house? If you make a loud thump, maybe we can determine where you are. It scares the sh** out of me to be right next to this little hallway, bro. I don't know what it is about that. Just, there's bench. something. Bench. Is there a bench in here somewhere? There's a bench in there. Is there a bench in that bedroom? There's a bench in there. What's going on in that bedroom? Because we just asked them like, oh, can you tell us where you are in here? And it literally just said bench. Okay, I'm sitting on the bench where you said you were. Is this what you were talking about? Or are you talking about something else? It's louder in here. It is way louder in here. Give us a sign, please. You good, Wyatt? That was right next to me. I that wasn't that. you? Mm -mm. Oh. I literally caught that through the door. That was like, anybody. dude, anybody. It's spiking up, it's spiking up with the orange. The fact that you guys are really close to the REM pod in the doorway and it's not doing anything mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. So we're hearing these footsteps coming from what sounds like the ceiling. Is that you and can you make those louder? What the f***? You're kidding. Dude, there's something up there. You're kidding. Chairs. You just left from the chair. Yeah. You just left from all those chairs. They said bench and then chairs. Somebody had left the bench, went over there, because we're probably in here. Are you trying to avoid us? I don't mind speaking. Whoa. I don't mind speaking? He said, can you let us know where you are so that we can have a proper conversation and gather some information? They said bench. Yeah. And now they're at the, at the chairs. They're probably trying to have the conversation now. I don't know. Hmm. What? Like... Probably one of the brightest orbs we've caught on camera right above the kitchen table. Oh, this is so weird, dude. Two men here. Two, Two men, men here. What the f***? Who's the one that laughs then? Is it not a boy? Before we leave this room, I'm gonna knock on this wall real quick and I just wanna see if you can replicate this sound in any way you can. Up the f ceiling. Up here. No. F That's way. what I was saying, dude. I, it sounds like it's coming from up here. Maybe it's saying use the bench. Maybe I'm just like stupid. What? What? I heard it too, but I heard it like over here. I heard. Boom. What? Did you walking, not just f hear just that? Walking up here, dude. I just saw an orb come into this room. <laughs> there is no <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. It's coming from up here, hundred percent. I just don't know. It must be the whole attic. If there, if there is an attic. I don't know. Like, I'm. What was that? Something right next to Wyatt, and that was f weird. I heard a skid. You're safe here. Why do I don't feel like I'm not? Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't believe that at all. There it goes. The two men. Heavier. That is. That's like right above us. 
It's not a second story, that's for sure. This is a one story house. Can you make those thumping sounds right above me, right here? What the There's a curse. There's, There's a, a curse! curse! The attic door is right here. Wait, no way. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is a way to the attic. Where? Right here in the hallway. You guys think what I'm thinking? Go up. Are you can poke your head up there. Poke your head up there. See. Okay. This is where the sound was coming from. Oh, yeah, yeah. Use it. Did it just close? That just me? closed. No, it didn't. That just closed when I opened it. I don't know, bro. Oh, careful. Who's up there? Something's definitely up there. It felt like it closed on you? Yeah, when I was going to open it, some something, I don't know if it was just because it was heavy, but I was literally just doing this and it just goes, like it pushes itself back down. I don't know what that would be. If you want us to go back to that crawl space that gets into the attic, you're going to have to tell us through that device, attic, if that's where you want us to go. For now, what we are going to do is turn the lights out, sit around this table, and have a conversation with you. You know what time it is. Our favorite thing to do during the investigations is to go completely lights out. So, it's time for darkness. The four of us are gathered here around this table, hoping for a conversation with whoever is in this house. You are more than welcome to keep setting off those devices all around, or you can come and sit here and come and talk to us. Oh, there's something behind me. I'm setting the device here that you were using your words right in the middle of the table. Please come and join us. Are you here with us? That was super loud. Yeah. By now you should have enough energy to show us that you are here. What, what the, the f Dude! I just lit up the whole thing. Thank you. That just scared the out of me. Is there something you'd like to say in this device? Are you worried that we're gonna do something to you if we find out the truth? Holy Spirit. Did you hear that? One, two, three? Yeah. That was like right here. That was three knocks perfectly in a row. Mm hmm. Maybe they're mocking it, the Trinity? Oh. oh. Who is this? We haven't quite figured out if the stories that people tell about this place is true. Did you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yep. They were at this table. They were at this table. Was that you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We did hear you. Are you talking about the three knocks? Oh my god. Whoa! Can you step away from that? Oh! oh! Yo, this Dude, no f way is this happening. This, this is thing crazy. Is intelligent. Whatever it is. What are you? Eh, I'm a f around a little bit. Okay, if that was really you, can you go back to that and do it again, please? Just to prove a point. No way. Oh! Dude! Boy! Nice.
I just saw his ball. He did not tap that orb. Okay, thank you. What the f dude? Thank you for confirming that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was like as soon as I asked. Dude, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like actually shaking. Well, if that was you, in fact, we invite you to sit down at this table with us if you would like. Significant. Yeah, it was. And if you can activate any of these four balls that are on the table here to let us know that you're here with us. Yeah. Yo, what is that? Sounds like Jumanji. He does. He does. We can hear you around us. Come to the table. Here. Is there a reason why you're being so shy? I invite you to come closer if you want. Don't have to be afraid. Go forward. I'm a little confused. I was just walking this way a little bit to change angle. I don't know if they were talking about me. Maybe. Go forward towards the kitchen. The kitchen leads to the door with the lock. Did somebody just sit in this chair next to Eli? We heard what sounded like somebody sitting down. Are you here? Dude, oh, what was that? That sounded like a child running. Yeah. That sounded like Dude. little feet. You know what's trippy? You remember as a kid when you'd like run around or skip? Yeah. Oh, like, you f It was yeah. like a horse, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like yeah. the Gallop. pacing. Yeah. Gallop, yeah. Did that sound like it was on the floor or on the ceiling? No, that on the floor. Like, it was on the like floor. I, I, I could, right I could me. literally feel it on the floor, like right up to me. That's yeah. crazy. Cause like when you skip, that device didn't tr get triggered. That is true. But maybe it wasn't that close. Where are you? If there is more than one spirit, one person here, join us. Oh, Whoa, dude. Nah. There goes another confirmation that there is more than one. Us. Mm -hmm. Are you guys scared of our cameras? And devices? Is that why you're being so shy? You're being followed. Whoa! Dude. Uh oh. Dude. Holy oh. Shit. That's not good. We have never, ever gotten this through the device. Whoa! Whoa. God! Dude. dude! Dude! How do you know? Do you see somebody else here? I don't like that. Don't What's like his that. name? Who's following us? You may not know. I'm gonna quit if it's if that thing comes Eli, out. we've been dealing with an attachment for like a long time now. This journey has been so crazy, dude. But another spirit to tell us that somebody is here with us is just more evidence. This is crazy. It's happened to us at one or two different locations that we went to. The spirits were like... Why it even <gasps> captured him on a picture? Wait a minute. Earlier it said, why are you here? They're not talking Ooh. about us. Whoa! You f dude. That Wait, so do you think the other spirits are like recognizing that there's ours. somebody else here that they don't recognize? Yeah. Oh. Holy <laughs> dude. That just gave me such bad chills. Same, my whole body. Oh my god, it makes sense now. Is there, is there an entity here that has been following the twins for a while now? An entity that you don't recognize? If the answer is yes, can you light up this device behind me? Or these balls right here? Different. It's different. A different entity. I mean, that's kind of confirming it a little Something bit. Something different than what they're used to. Oh my god. Is that, is that confirmation? Whoa. Whoa! 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 What the f***? Dude! This is getting really creepy. That just went to the highest pitch I've ever heard that device go. You can hear what sounded like somebody going, you know, it like, sounds yeah, like that when you get closer it. to it. Yeah. So is that confirmation then? Something different is here? And then it just confirmed with a yes. Whoever is following us 
if you are here, can you let us talk to whoever is in this house? We're trying to find out if there is an evil spirit here. Can we get some of that information, please? Excellent. Whoa. Could be excellent because we're like, we're like Excellent as in like, good? good? Yeah, I like you figured it out. Dude, this is crazy, man. Whoever is in this house. We are still trying to talk with you. We know that there's something that follows us around sometimes, but don't worry, it should leave you alone. Guys, do you hear that creaking? Is that right behind me? That was right in the kitchen. That was right in the kitchen. Do you hear? Hello? Do you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. What the f going on? That was a loud thump. I'd like to try this session here. I have this device that will allow us to hear what your voice sounds like. We're gonna go ahead and ask a couple of questions. I'm gonna turn this one off right here, and then I'm gonna move another one to the middle of the table. As we ask these questions, please, Speak loud and clear and answer those for us. Okay, let's do it, boys. It's EVP time. Just Come like here. Whoa. Come here. Riv, you were just in there. It's calling. going towards the Hold door. On. It's okay. calling you. They're exa that exactly what I was just saying. When I moved over here, it said, Come go. forward. It said, Go forward. Go it's forward. guiding you. And then I go in there. No f way, bro. Well, we, we should then, right? I looked right at the locked door. That's insane, dude. I think we should do some EVPs first. See if we can get their voices to tell us where they are. Maybe and if they some... say anything about the door, then we're going straight to that door. I say we do some EVPs right at the door as well. Okay. See if that could possibly be yeah. a portal or something else. Something that's allowing these entities. Shh. All right, boys, how this is gonna go is we're gonna ask each a question around the table and then I'm gonna play it after that. Okay. Come to this table. Speak into this device right here, loud and clear. Who is here in this house? Whoever's here, are you in the attic? Are you something dark or demonic? Is there a reason why you don't want us here? I think I heard there's someone evil. There's something. It legitimately, like, it sounds like someone's talking to the device. Okay, after my question, I think, somebody says, There's something evil. Whoa, dude, it sounds like 
There's something evil in this house. Something right here. Or something. It sounds like a yes. Did you hear the whistle? That? Yeah, that's something f***ing talking. Whispering. It's like, <laughs> yeah. terrifying. That is so terrifying because like, what if that's just like something like from Insidious where you're like, it's like sitting in the table and it's just like staring at you. Okay, I want everybody to stand out of their chairs. I'm gonna do it one more time in the middle here. I don't want anybody touching the table. We're gonna do this one more time. The person who is following us, I want you to answer this question. Do you see something evil in this house? Or is it just you? Has something been standing behind us in this dining room? Why are you thought to be a little boy? Is there something here that wants to hurt us? What's behind the door? Who's in the attic? Me. Me. Who's in the attic? Holy Did you just hear that? That just said me. That just said me. That was very scary. And the REM pod in the hallway goes off like that? Literally as soon as it says me. Dude, you know I what's... knew something was up in that attic, bro. You know what's worse? What? Am I wrong, or through that entire EVP, does it sound like there's someone, like, mumbling in the back? It does, huh? Yeah. It sounds like there's, like, a low voice just talking in the background. My body is, like, chilling so bad. Uh -huh. I don't know what to think, guys. <laughs> this is insane. Like, this legit feels like a horror movie. I mean, we have constantly heard boot, hoof, maybe they're hooves, you know? You never know. Oh. What do you guys say? I think because it was telling you to go that way, and our original plan was to go that way towards that door and that other last room, I think we should go in there. Yeah, I agree. EVP to the door? Okay. Yes, sir. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna tell you that. Like, it feels like there's a secret behind that door. I mean, it's locked. There's a reason why the people here keep it locked. Every time somebody comes here, there's an issue involving this door. It's, um, Where the f is that coming from? That's 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 right up that's right up here. Guys, hang on. Do you have it? I have an EMF meter, meter in my pocket, and it was just going off. It was literally spiking like crazy. Cool, put it to the door. 
Oh! No! Wait. No. There's something no. back there. No. Hello? Here you go. What the f What the f Hold on, where was that? I have no idea. It was like over here. I'm gonna start this. Is there somebody on the other side of this door? Yes or no? Are you above us? Does this door lead to a portal? I'm just curious. Listen to that one one more time. What the? F does that say yes? It does. I don't know. That sounded like demonic. It did not sound friendly. No. I'm gonna do something stupid and put my ear up against the door. Um, just, just because. You're so stupid, dude. It's very dumb. <laughs> Something's gonna scream in my ear. Do you hear anything? Not yet. Is there anybody in here? On the other side of this door? Can you give me a knock? Imagine. Is that a knock? That was not over here. That was, that was over there. Heard that. Was that the table? Can you say something to me through this door? Holy Holy f Bro. Come back to this door. Whoa. Are you okay? What's up? What's up? Someone just waved at me, bro. No. no Waiting room. You're lying. I'm not even kidding. Please, I don't want to look out there. Please look out there. Yeah, here. What Give me a f You're kidding. Let's go. That was f I was pointing at you guys because you were talking about the door or whatever. And I looked back at my screen. The screen's hella bright. I turned away again, looking right through this doorway here, and as my eyes focused back on the darkness, like right in this doorway, it was just like this. Like, just. That's not you, because this just went off too. Did you hear the knock over there? Thank you for making your presence known. Dude, what is going on in this house, guys? Touch it harder. <laughs> Dude, that likes oh, oh. me. I just heard a scuffle, like a shuffle. Yeah, I hear it. Like, it does give me some, like, child energy because when we go in there, something happens in here. Like, I'm in here, something happens in there, or in there. It's like, it's like kind of playing hide and seek, almost. Who was in here? Someone threw on spirit talk. I got it. That was me. But, like, see how quick that is? No way. Sorry, I'm getting like the f Do you feel it? Weirdest feeling right now. Yeah, after I saw it, it was... It sounds weird to say, but almost like you're meant to see it. You know what I mean? Who waved at Wyatt? Where did you go? Back to the bedroom? I'm gonna go in the kitchen while you guys are sitting in here. 
just to see if anything gets triggered. Dude, this is so f***ing here. Were you just pointing at that? No f***ing way. Something in here with me in the kitchen? It's just not stopping. This is really weird. Yeah, what the f*** is going on? Let go! Do you want me to leave the kitchen? Oh my god. Who is this? Who was the one who waved at Wyatt? Answer that question. Did you just see what I did? You literally just pointed there? I can hear somebody stepping right behind this wall. Nice to meet you. Whoa. Nice to meet you! Hi! Hi, Wyatt! Nice to meet you! That is freaking me out. Okay, the last thing we want to try here tonight as an experiment is it is known that when you have a red light, that gives spirits more energy to communicate with you, or so it has been told to us. So what I want to do is do a session with just red light and see if we could gather any more tonight. So, with that being said, let's go red light. If there is somebody down here in the back room or hears me, I want to try this other method. This one should be a lot easier for you because all you need to do is manipulate this to turn it on. It's just a flashlight. What I'm going to do is set it right in between these two books on this cabinet. And we want you to turn it on, please. I'm going to go ahead and walk away, give you some time, and let you turn it on, please. If you hear what we're saying, turn that on. That's going to let us know that you are down here. As soon as you turn it on, we want you to turn it off. Then I'm going to go ahead and ask a couple of questions. Was that? Is that in the other room? That's right there at the stairs. Turn that flashlight on, please. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Okay, now please turn it off so we can ask some questions. And what we would like you to do is turn it on if it is a yes. If it's a no, you leave it off, please. Go ahead and turn it off. What the f*** was that? Something up here, dude. That was a very loud thump mm -hmm. in that direction. Here it goes. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Are the stories true about something evil manifesting itself to look like a child? Turn that on. If that is true, please. If it's not true, leave that flashlight off. You must going off. Oh. Yo. Did you hear that? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm is our attachment in here? Oh. No, no f way, bro. No way. Do you guys really think it's your attachment? I don't know, dude. It's well, hard to say. Why would a spirit tell us that somebody is following us? That's true. Watch it. Watch what? I'm not really sure if they're telling you like to watch your mouth or like to watch something. Somebody moving in there. Can you turn that flashlight off, please? We're not going to be here for much longer. We just want to take this little bit of time to try and make things right if things are wrong here. Turn that flashlight off, please. Dude, there's something walking heavy in there. There it goes. Thank you. I'm going to try this once again. Is there somebody evil here? Maybe behind that locked door. Thank you. Little girl around you. What the f girl? Why would there be a little girl? I mean, well, they did this say there was can five. Manifest itself to look like whatever it wants. What? A Shit. child. Is it huh? Demonic. No. Something demonic. Yeah. To manipulate whoever thinks it's a kid, they want it to think it's a kid, but it's not. 
That's insane. Yeah. We Can you turn that off? That. Is that who's walking around right now? That is very weird because the stories don't say anything like that. But then again, a lot of the stories kept saying little kid. Little kid in general. Only one person said yeah. they're pretty sure they heard a little boy laughing. Well, it's hard to little... differentiate which one is exactly. which. Exactly. Because like little boys sound very similar to little girls. So their voices are just like really high pitched. Have we so. been getting this wrong the whole time? That's what I'm kind of thinking. Or it could be both. Can you turn that flashlight off real quick so I can ask a question? Ask. Whoa! Oh, yo! <laughs> what the f Dude, that literally was just like, ask. Wow. Yo, that was, that was too accurate. Okay. Maybe you just want to answer it through this. The little girl. Are you just showing yourself as a little girl, but really you're not? hear knocking in there. What the f What is that metal knock? Is that coming from that other room? I heard it twice. Yeah, same. Can somebody please turn that light off? If something here is a shapeshifter pretending to be other entities or other beings, can you turn that flashlight off? We are apprehensive. Whoa, what? Whoa. We're, again, I keep saying us. We've We're never. That literally means like they're like standoffish, like they almost don't want to. Yeah. They're like nervous. Why is that? Is it because of somebody here with us? And is that why you won't turn? They're shy. Dude, that just gave me the f chills. We understand that you're you're shy or you're scared of somebody maybe with us. Are you scared of the one following us? This is very odd. Do you guys think that whoever's following us is way, way more powerful than we you know? Than we, yeah, realize? And they're just kind of playing it off as if they don't have much power. Get this, like, if there is, like, an evil entity, don't you think they'd, like, try and, like, overpower? Maybe. Are you frightened? Are you frightened? Dude, this might be our whoever's following us. Why? Answer this. What I'm saying, dude, they're going crazy. Can you let go of that, please? There's many others. Whoa, dude. This is what I'm literally trying to understand. If our attachment was very, very strong, say our attachment is something demonic, trying to fool us and, you know, say that there's somebody else. Our attachment, something demonic, comes into another house with something demonic, do you think if that demon in this house, if they weren't strong enough, do you think they'd back down from our attachment? Oh, what the f Ooh. What? I don't think I broke it, but... No, you're okay. No, but I was just holding it like normal. Did it get knocked out of your hand? I mean, I was holding it like... My did you arm was... hear those clean footsteps right before that happened? I was wondering like this, like... There's definitely someone in here. I didn't, I Does just... that make sense to you though? Trust in short, yeah, I think... Watching. Whoa, dude! No way! Who the f said that earlier? I would assume almost it would be like... They, there's no way they'd work together. Demons no. are so solo, dude. It'd be like whatever was with us, we were their property almost. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to whoever is in this house. We were here to try and gather some information. Regardless, I, I thank you for letting us stay in this home and giving us proof that you are here. The devices that we have, thank you for setting them all off. Okay. I mean, what more is there to do, guys? When we do these investigations, we do have an end time. Sometimes people let us do all night, but sometimes they don't. And, you know, people are nice enough to at least let us do an investigation while they leave for a while and then they want to come back to their home. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please get this to 25,000 likes. And if you guys liked Eli in this episode, go down in the comments. Let us know if you want to see him a couple more times in our episodes. He's a good guy. I try to be a good guy. You guys are good guys. Should we kiss?
Let us know in the comments. 25,000 likes. No, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Ghost Gang, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and keep finding yourselves coming back because you love what we do, hit the subscribe button. That means you guys love what we do and we love everything about all of you. And thank you. That's it. We will see you next week. Peace. I've been